Um, so we're gonna build a battery box today. Uh, 12 modules, smart car style. Um, which the modules are just here, as you can see. So we're gonna knock up a box section battery box uh, using 3 mil 25 by 25 box. Uh, we're gonna tap it out so that it'll just bolt straight in. Uh, and then we're gonna look at doing the wiring on another episode to put all the contactors and the battery management system in and stuff. So, here we go. You can see we've knocked up um, a drill, drill jig um, to go six wide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some on the plasma, drill the holes to five mil, and then we can lay that on the box section, actually drill the holes through. We've also done a centre plate that goes down the middle of the modules, which will stay as it is. Um, we'll just bolt through from underneath then. Here we've got our drill rig on here. Simple and easy. Go in the box. As you can see, you get nice, even, consistent holes across the whole lot. The children are done, really nice, consistent holes all the way across. If anyone's doing a load of holes like this, I would always recommend create yourself a drill, a drill jig and then you can just literally lie it on as you work your way up across and it just lines up perfectly. Fun task of tapping out all the holes. So tap in drill, low speed, and just slowly work my way along, tapping the holes out. Now this box section is, I think, it's just over three mil or four mil thick. So plenty strong enough to get a fair few threads in there um, to hold the batteries down. And then with that done, two screws both ends and the center rail as well. Uh, will be more than strong enough to hold those batteries stable for ever, hopefully. So as you can see, everything lines up really nicely. Uh, I've only got two of them in just for purposes, but the other four fit nicely in the middle. And then we're doing another rail here, um, which basically steps us out from our coolant connection. So we're going to run two rails down either side. Um, so we basically make a base with this piece running across the middle, which picks up on the lower holes. Um, then once we've got that, we will then come up from the rail here on these edges for strengthening possibly one in the middle as well haven't decided yet and that's basically then going to give us sides that we can actually clad with sheet metal to make it a sealed pack um so let's get back on so frame is now together as you can see so we have these rows here which the battery modules actually screw onto um, and then we've got a back one here. This is basically just for a face to screw the cladding to. We're going to sheet this, um, but it allows for the coolant connections and stuff within there. And the same at this end, we've got bits there. We're just now going to quickly put uh, another piece across here and same at the other end. And then we're going to do a complete test fit with the batteries in and start looking at how we're going to wire this up. You guys can see the frame is now pretty much complete. Uh, and we're going to add this box onto the top of here. Uh, it can go forward, back, side to side. So once I've done a test fit in the vehicle uh, in the coming weeks, I will then decide exactly where to put that box. Um, it's a solid metal box, IP rated. As you can see, um, they're like 30, 40 quid. It's far cheaper to buy a box like that than it is to actually try and make that section yourself. And then what I'm going to do is cut out the front here or the side and have my nice high voltage connector on there. Uh, and battery management, power supply, and things like that on there. Um, so as you can see, it's fairly complete. Um, I'm gonna quickly do a test fit and throw some modules in here now to check everything lines up properly and I've got enough space for all my cabling uh, and BMS lines. Um, and then we'll strip it down and do a test fit in the vehicle. Um, so as you can see, I've uh, got the modules in for a test fit. I put all the bottom ones in. Um, just to make sure they're lined up, put two of the top ones in for now, uh, just because of the weight and lifting them around. Um, 
as you can see I've been working on my high voltage so this is a negative here which has got to go up to the next next row up for the positive so it fits in there and then I've got some nice p-clips um, along here I can obviously fit more if I need to uh, and then we loop around and we loop up onto the positive just here um, which should be pretty good and then we're going to obviously cross link all of these across and that's going to become my most negative there and my most positive will be just here now this one here I'm going to bring out loop it up around the back of there do the same thing again row of P clips and then bring it up back up through the side of here and up here so it's going to sit roughly here then I can put my negative round and we'll have positive and negative here to loop up into our box we showed earlier uh, once that box is in the final position it can then go into the box and go for its relevant contactors and pre-charge and all the relevant stuff but so far so good it's a very good fit so I'm now just going to strip it all back out again and then do some test fitting in the vehicle that it's going into unfortunately I cannot show you that bit because I am uh, it's a bit secretive um, and then one link we do the test fit for the vehicle, we actually can do the brackets on the side to work out how we bolt that to the vehicle um, before I then do the final build and clad all the outside in. I think I'm going to do 1.2 mil sheet steel um, because this is quite thick box. We can actually drill and tap it, so it'll be really nice. Uh, we'll paint all the all the frame and then we can actually just screw the sheet to it with, and seal it on there. Um, at least it gives access in the future then if we need to get into any parts of the system. Um, then coolant wise, we're going to use the original coolant that comes in the pack. We're just going to cut it down so we loop um, and then we're probably going to remove the end one and do a little T piece and come up into the next row. And then we're going to come up and we're probably going to come out somewhere up here using the original outputs. I'd expect um, the original outputs that come in the box are really nice. They are these ones here. So as you can see, they've got a nice bit of thread on them. Um, so once we do our top piece, we can have two really nice, pretty outputs there. And luckily, when we got the pack, it also came with the connectors that go on the end of here. Um, so we can do a really nice, neat job of that as well. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and very soon, we'll have the rest of this build going up for the complete box as well. See you guys soon.